Okay, Jim from Terry is here, and here with Dave Siegel from Dr. Rogers, and we're at the CES event, uh, event and this is probably the most interesting technology we've seen. Right? And, and I have to say that you This is really great. Tell us a little bit about the Knocking Logics is really a, a human uh, technology interface company that built a hands-free, voice-free, and even screen-free invisible user interface into basically everything. So wearing nothing but one of our neural earbuds, it allows you to command, control, and navigate not only computer systems, but any and all connected devices, wheelchairs, smartphones, robotics, basically your entire connected world. And you do it with minimal It almost looks like telepathy when you're doing it. And suffice it to say, I believe we're the only uh, smart earbud, neural earbud, I'll just say that, that can serve as a safe, non-invasive alternative to brain implants. So even a quadriplegic with zero movement below the neck, they can put in this earbud, type in, they can type between 30, 45 characters per minute natively, uh, command and control of Windows, PCs, all Microsoft Office products, including Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, browse the internet, shop over the internet, play computer games, but not basic computer games. Uh, we just demonstrated the ability to uh, fly simulated 737s using absolutely nothing but the input from the neural ear. And that's not just flight mode, like a yoke control, the entire cockpit to control. And even if you unplug the monitor, I would continue to have control over the plane substance. Yeah, this is really cool because it's not just it's a true fusion uh, approach to biosensors. So we're picking up not only we pick up EEG, EMG, inner ear air pressure signals and deltas, uh, as well as subtle movements through IMUs. And we have a unique way of capturing all of that and creating an invisible user interface that people just with wearing the earbud could enter into this invisible user interface, navigate it, control n number of devices with an n number of commands and controls or inputs for those devices. Uh, again, screen free, touch free, and voice free. What's amazing is uh, I was talking to my colleague Well, I know this sounds crazy, but if I had the time or money, I could probably integrate into this entire conference center in all of Mandalay Bay. And if I was sitting in a chair, blindfolded, mouth closed, hands on my lap, if you said, I want to change the thermostat to room 2235 to 65 degrees, I could do that. And if you said, well, after that, switch control to the light system here, and this, I can turn off the lights here. Absolutely, hands free, voice free, and screen free. What we built thus far allows us to do that. This is the only thing we want. It really is. And the important part is, if we're talking about non invasive very safe. Yes, not like having an embedded chip or something in you, or wear a funky helmet. This is actually technology that can be embedded in us. With wearables, people want to wear. Uh, and the people say, well, why this wide ear button? Uh, for a lot of reasons, but I think the ear is the boardwalk and park place of the human head without touching the brain, uh, basically. Um, and, coincidentally, that's also where the number one wearable on planet Earth comes to be, smart earbuds. Imagine a whole world of smart earbuds where instead of just listening to music, these same smart earbuds can give people control of everything. It's the ultimate equalizer, not just for those who require assistive technology, but it's the ultimate equalizer for everybody. And you can, in games, you can just shoot where you're looking, you can play pretty contemporary games, never touching the keyboard, mouse, and joystick. Not saying we would ever replace traditional game controllers, but for somebody who requires assistive tech, it's, a, it's, a, it's really a miracle. But for the rest of us, it's a third arm and second controller. I was going to say, the Gen Z is giving him another avenue to actually be able to control the whole thing. Well, my nephew isn't allowed to kill me with a gun and kill me. He has to use a knife. 
because all they do is panic fire. But this is the ultimate equalizer for us older guys who still like the game. You can just switch guns and shoot where you're looking and without bumbling around with uh, clumsy analog joysticks. This will be the ultimate equalizer for us as well. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you.